Recently, I purchased the Nanook 935 hard case. And since then, I've been able to take this with me on a number of different shoots, as well as configure it in a number of different ways, depending upon the gear that I need for each shoot that I'm going on. If you are doing events, if those are the type of gigs that you are doing and you're not upselling your client on video testimonial stations, you are doing them a disservice and you are losing out on money that you can gain while you're there anyway. So with me, I usually take at least two cameras. And the reason I take two cameras is because if you got one, you got none, right? If you're shooting and you happen to damage your main camera, you don't want to cause a work stoppage. And so for me, that means having a backup camera and having some redundancy in my system. So the main camera that I use, of course, is my FX30 with the 24 to 70 Sigma art lens. If you're interested in exactly how I rig this out, make sure you look down in the description below where I'm gonna link you to my corporate compact rig video. I think that's what it's called. And so here I have my FX30 and then along in this same um, pocket, I have some, uh, what is this, accessories. Give me one second. I have some accessories for my DJI kit. Of course, you always need at least a decent audio. And inside here, I typically keep a few, well, a couple lav mics, as well as some strips so that you can tape it up on whoever it is that you're interviewing and things of that nature. So that goes right there. I also have my dummy battery, some headphones, a side handle, um, of course, my, my, my top handle, and I have a VND in here, which I don't really use often. And of course, this is to connect it all, my audio to my actual camera, right? The 3.5 millimeter to 3.5 millimeter. Now, all of that is in there. I know it's just, it's just stuffed in there and it looks crazy, but the reason I have it packed up like that is so that once I do have my camera in this particular slot, all these added accessories is actually needed to rig out the camera and it also keeps the camera from shifting around. So it kind of keeps that safe. I'll fix that <laughs> when I'm done with this video here. I also keep a few batteries on hand. One includes this V-mount battery, which is actually what I use to power up my rig. Um, I also have a couple of, what are these called? Um, Sony NPF, whatever, right? It depends on the size you get is the number. So I have a couple of these. These are trash, <laughs> probably because it's not Sony. It's like this off brand and I had it for a while. And this is just really here for backup because what I use it for, I'll show you in a second. This slot is empty here because I usually keep a 35 millimeter lens, which I'm currently using on my a7 IV on this top down shot. I also keep a few batteries, Sony batteries and, um, uh, there you go. I usually keep about three of these and I'm using one in this camera right here as well as one in this top down shot. And so now we got one left in this case. Moving over a bit, here go my DJI system. Of course, this is a bit empty because <laughs> I'm wearing a V-mount plate from Small Rig, I believe. And my shinobi right my monitor so all of these pieces is really what i use to rig up my main camera and like i said if you want to know exactly what all i use for my actual rig you can check out that video this is also for the rig and this is also for the rig for my monitor and so it's nothing too crazy going on but this is this is actually it <laughs> this is actually it i thought this video was going to be a lot longer based upon the gear that i actually take with me on these shoots um, but that's it. That's pretty quick and easy, straight into the point. Um, one thing that I do want to show you all that I'm particularly proud of um, is actually what I use for lighting. So, you know, this case right here with all these pouches, the reason I, I don't put these wires and stuff in this pouch is because if I was to fill these up with batteries and different wires and my rig and accessories, I won't be able to close this down. And so I just scatter it about in here. I know what's what, I know what I'm using it for. I'm, I know what I'm bringing it for. So it's not much of a hassle when I do take it out on these different shoots. But I wanna say what I'm most proud of, or one of the things that I'm most proud of when it comes to this case in particular is my light. <laughs> now you can't see it from here, but when you do get this divider or um, what you call this, 
I, I'll put it somewhere. I don't know. I, for, I forgot what you call this right here. But when you do get this case with this right here for your pouches or whatever the case may be, it also comes with a laptop slot. Now that is where I keep my Amaran P60C. Boom. <laughs> you didn't see that one coming, did you? You didn't see that one coming. I know you didn't because this is not typically what it's used for, but I find that it comes in handy, extremely handy. So with this already, I have a light, I have my cameras, and I have audio all in this one case. And this is a small case too. I have a, a 955 by Nano. And um, while it could fit a lot more things, right? Obviously, being able to just fit a light, a camera or two, a couple lenses, extra batteries, and um, an audio setup all in this one case, I think it's just amazing, right? And it's something that I've been working on and it's still not perfect. There are still a few things that I would like to tweak. There are things that I would like to add and remove. For instance, back here, I have the plug for the uh, Amberan 60C and I really want to remove this. And so what I ended up ordering was um, the two pin connector for this particular light where I'm able to connect it to a V mount battery. And so that will be going in my kit pretty soon. And of course, I will also be adding a friction arm because you know I love my friction arms, my articulating friction arms. I'll connect my V mount battery to that, twist it up, put it on my tripod, well on my light stand for that light and keep everything compact. And so one of the things that, well, a few of the things that don't fit in here that I usually take with me on these shoots are the grid. This is the grid for the Amaran P60C. And of course, I can't take the grid without bringing the soft box as well. And so once I take these things with me onto these shoots, it's easy sailing right it's smooth sailing it's an easy day and i am particularly proud of this kit proud of this setup it's something that i look for events to attend and to shoot just so i can get my reps in and um work to configure this properly in a way that's going to allow for it to be much more efficient now i want you to hold on for a and second I, I want to bring this up here because I was looking for a way to travel with my different sticks. And I was watching a video by David Morfield and he actually mentioned this particular piece of kit that I've recently purchased. Wow, I don't even know if this is actually gonna work for what I need it for. But it's certainly something that I'm excited to try out. So I'm hoping that I'm able to fit my different sticks in here to include um, obviously a tripod as well as one light stand. I only need one light stand. That's the best part of this kit. It only requires a tripod for the testimonial station as well as a light stand for the Amaran P60C. And that's all you need. <laughs> that's all you need. That is all you need. Where's my, where's my zipper? Wow, this is the track pack. Hold on, let me grab my phone so I can let you know exactly what it is. This is a Timba T488 track pack. And um, this is for your different sticks. And the way that this opens, can you see this? The way that this opens, it, it's certainly wide enough to, to put a few different sticks in here. And um, let's see, if I, could, if I could hold your attention for just a moment more, I would like to test this out with you in real time. So these are the light stands that I usually use or that I'm, I'm quite fond of these days, which is the impact um, links one thing or another. So you could just take a bunch of these and link them together. Um, this is what it looks like, All right? But I could already see that it's gonna fit in here with, with excess room. Wow, easy day. Easy day, so I'm definitely gonna be able to fit at least two or three of these in here. And I'm super excited to take this with me on shoots. And I love these handles because you can just take this and wrap it around the handle on your different cases. So it's hanging off the side, so you don't really have to take anything with you. And um, I know I mentioned that I usually bring the grid and the soft box and a book bag, but I forgot to mention that I also 
pack this as well. So when you are testing, well, when you are setting up your video testimonial stations at these different events, if you were to just take some gaff tape and put it down on the floor where you need your subject to stand, it makes it that much easier when you have people coming through, giving their testimonials, talking about how amazing the event is and, and, and keeping it going, right? So they always know where to stand. You always have your composition properly and it just makes things a lot more efficient. So I know I did a lot of talking. Some of that was rambling as well, but I wanna thank you for sticking around with me in this video. And I'm gonna link some relevant videos down in the description below that you may enjoy as well. Until then, I'll see you in the next one. Love.